Hello and welcome to the world of astronomy. I hope all of you are doing great. Today we will take a ride to the motion of planets, even before Newton did. You might have heard about Johannes Kepler, one of the most important person who studied the motion of planets around the sun, the motion of moon around the earth. In 1600s, Johannes Kepler proposed three laws of planetary motion. These laws, very popularly known as Kepler's laws of planetary motion. And Kepler, Kepler was able to summarize carefully collected data of his mentor, Tycho Brahe, with three statements that describe the motion of planets in a sun-centered solar system. Kepler's eff efforts to explain the underlying reasons for such notions are no longer accepted. Nonetheless, the actual laws themselves are still considered an actuate description of motion of any planet and any satellite. The three laws are summarized as the first, which tells the planets which revolve around the Sun are always revolve in elliptical orbit. Elliptical means they form an ellipse. Ellipse is like the circle but not a circle because a circle has one center or one focus we can say but an ellipse has two focus. So all the planets revolve around the Sun in elliptical orbits and Sun is on one of the foci of that ellipse. The second, an imaginary line uh, drawn from the center of the sun to the center of the planet. This is according to the second law. The second law is also called equal area or law of equal areas. If we draw an imaginary line from the sun or from the center of the sun to the very center of the planet, then that line then that line will sweep out equal area in equal intervals of time what does it mean here uh, you can see the sun which is coming uh, sun is at the focus of the ellipse and uh, a planet which is revolving around the sun if it is coming near the sun it moves faster because here gravity is faster but the sun, if it is moving, if the planets are moving away from the sun or the sun is moving away. However, the sun is stationary with respect to the planets. If a planet comes near the sun, it takes less time than when it goes away from the sun or at the farthest end of the ellipse from the sun. There is a dark, there is a uh, relationship between the motion of the planet here in the nearest area of this nearest path of the sun near the sun and the distance away from the sun, which determines the time taken by the planets. Because if you join that line, the, uh, an imaginary line from the sun to the planet, so the area swept out by that line is always same. If the planet is near the Sun, it will take the same area. It means it will go faster. It means it will cover a longer length in a less time. If the planet is away from the Sun, it takes very less distance or covers a very less distance of its orbital motion. So these two laws of planetary motion just tell about the motion of the planet. But there is one more, which is the third and the most important theorem, a kind of theorem or law, which 
even Newton used. That the ratio, the third law states that the ratio of the squares of the period of any two planets is equal to the ratio of the cube of their average distance from the sun. What does it mean? Simply you must have heard or learned this law in your high school classes that t square is directly proportional to the r cube where t is the time taken to complete a revolution around the sun by a planet and r is the average radius of the revolution of the planet. If you see clearly what we see when we talk about an equation, if you have, have an equation, you take a relation, the direct relation, that this thing is directly proportional to that, or the t, t square, the time square is directly proportional to the radius cube. What does it mean? It means if you bring the radius in left hand side, you will get something important, that t square upon r cube is a constant. What does it mean? It means it is a constant. As simple as you see. For all the planets, this ratio is a constant. For illustration, let's take the example of Earth and the planet. The period of Earth to complete a revolution around the Sun is, in seconds if we talk, it is 3.156 into 10 to the power 7 seconds and the radius r the average distance is 1.495 into 10 to the power 11 meters if we take their ratio that is t square by r cube we will get 2.977 into 10 to the power minus 19 let's take the example of Mars. Its period is for 5.93 into 10 to the power 7 seconds. And its average distance from the Sun is 2.278 into 10 to the power 11 meters. If we try this to, that is t squared by r cube, we will get the same number, that is 2.9 seven five into ten to the power minus nineteen approximately same this was the equation which was used by Newton Newton thought of two things one is that the centripetal force provided by the planets is the gravity the force of gravity provides the centripetal force to the planets to be in their perfect orbit without leaving the orbit and keep on revolving around the Sun and according to Newton's equations we can derive the planetary motion and the third law of Johannes Kepler it was only this for today's lecture thank you very much please like share and subscribe have a good day. Keep learning physics and astronomy. Bye-bye. Take care.